Hello friends, in this video I shall take up some important problems of LCM and HCF. All these concepts are very very important for all kinds of exams you know and uh, you need to be well acquainted with the short tricks through which you can actually solve these problems. So let's see the first question. Now in the first question we need to find the LCM of some given fractions. So you need to find the LCM of, let's see the fractions, this is, okay, uh, 6 upon, uh, let's take a multiple of 5, 6 upon 5, then we have uh, in the numerator 8 and in the denominator 15 and the third one 12 upon 25. We need to find the LCM of these three fractions. Now whenever we talk of LCM of fractions, then LCM of fractions is actually the LCM of the numerators that is 6, 8, 12 and divided by the HCF of the denominators that is 5, 15 and 25. So how do you find the LCM of 6, 8 and 12? So many of the friends you know they can ask me to come up with a video uh, repeat video of finding the LCM through short tricks. So I am going to solve it through short tricks only for you. Okay, 6, 8 and 12. See 6, 8 and 12. Now here there is a number 6 which divides a number 12 in the given numbers exactly. So just forget 6. The smaller number is to be forgotten if it divides one of the given other numbers. Now out of 8 and 12, 12 is larger number. But 12 is not divisible by 8. So take multiples of 12, 24. 24 is divisible by 8. So your LCM is 24. So the numerator is 24. Just watch and find the LCM. This is what is required you know, in competitive exams. And what about HCF of 5, 15 and 25? Very easy. The smallest number 5, 15 and 25 is uh, 5. And 5 divides 5, 15 and 25 both. So the HCF is the smaller number only. Now, this is 5. So the LCM of 6 upon 5, 8 upon 15 and 12 upon 25 is 24 upon 5. Now this is the first question. So the second problem goes like this. Now there are two numbers. The ratio of two numbers is given of two numbers is, now let's take the ratio as 5 ratio 8. Okay, and obviously this is in the lowest form, it has to be in the lowest form. Uh, their HCF is given as 12 and LCM is given as 480. So you need to find the numbers. Now how do you find the numbers in such cases? Now again, very very easy problem if you have basic understanding of HCF. If you don't understand basic, uh, HCF, the term HCF, then it is difficult. See, if you assume that the numbers are, let the numbers be. So, how do you assume the numbers? The ratio is 5 ratio 8, so 5x and 8x. Now, see 5 and 8, they don't have a common factor, they are co prime. So, their common factor of 5x and 8x is only x. So the highest common factor is only x. So indirectly we say that the HCF is x and HCF is already given in the question. So that means the value of x is 12. So just multiply the HCF by the two terms of the ratio, you get the answer. So the numbers are, this is uh, 5x and 8x. So 5 into 12 and 8 into 12 which is 60 and 96 so very very easy again but basic understanding that will help you in solving this question quite easily but if you again uh, you know that lack of clarity you know that uh, spends uh, a lot of time in uh, exams and you start thinking of uh, you know framing equations and then getting to the answer so let's see the third question we will have HCF question here we found the LCM now we find the HCF find the HCF of 
now we are given some fractions this is 8 upon okay i'll take uh, multiples of 9 now and uh, 12 upon okay now okay let's not take 12 let's take 14 here and in the denominator we will have 15 and uh, then the third one 20 and then in the denominator we have the number okay this is uh, i want a multiple of 3 here because this will this will e uh, make the explanation part easy 21 and finally we will have one more let's have uh, 20 uh, 8 okay 28 and in the denominator we have 30 uh, 3 okay so let's see these four fractions now i want to find the hcf of this so unlike this here we were finding the lcm now we have to find the hcf so how do you find the hcf of four fractions take hcf in numerators and lcm in the denominator so whatever has to be found out numerators uh, have to be dealt with accordingly so here we were finding the lcm and we found the lcm and uh, in the numerator hcf should come in the numerator here so like this and lcm will come in the denominators 9 15 21 and 33 okay so how do we find the hcf of these numbers now see lcm that is going to be little bit difficult why because we have large numbers here but hcf should be easy now see 8 14 20 28 8 cm now this is actually 2 into 2 into 2 only we all know that this is 2 into 7 this is 2 into 2 into 5 and 27 uh, 28 is 7 into 4 so 2 into 2 into 7 now here there is a single 2 here which is common in all numbers so the hcf will contain that common factor 2 and apart from that there is nothing else which is common so the hcf of these numbers is only 2 so at finding hcf is quite easy you know we have to take the common factor among all the numbers and we have to first spread all the numbers into its common factors and then find the only factor which is common here is 2 now lcm now that's important 9 15 21 and 33 we all know that they are divisible by 3 so 3 has to come in the lcm let's see the remaining numbers this is 3 5 7 and 11 and can you notice something here 3 5 7 and 11 they are all prime numbers and we uh, when we tackle prime numbers their lcm is their product so just take all the numbers which are remaining in the denominator here 3 5 7 and 11 and now you can carry on with the multiplication process and get to the answer of highest common factor now multiplication by 11 is very easy so i don't want to touch that this is 9 9 by the 45 into 7 so 45 into 7 7 by the 45 by 3 and 315 now 315 into 11 so this is 3 4 6 5 okay 2 upon 3 4 6 5 is the hcf of these four numbers which are given here now let's take one more question and then we will conclude this one uh, this is also a question based on finding uh, the lcm or finding the hcf now i'll talk of sum of two numbers sum of two numbers is 670 and the hcf of those two numbers is 48 so i want to know how many pairs of numbers how many pairs of numbers can satisfy these conditions these conditions okay so a tactical question here or uh, based on the hcf so how do we find this one now we are given that the hcf of the two numbers is 48 so if the hcf is 48 48 is the highest common factor of those two numbers so the numbers are 48x 
and 48 y because 48 is the common factor highest common factor and x and y are co prime so you need to write that where x comma y are co prime that means they don't have any other common factor between them because the highest common factor is 48 itself which we have written separately here okay now we are given that the sum of the two numbers is 672 so the numbers are 48 and x and 48 y so the num uh, their sum is 672 so we have formulated a linear equation in two variables and now you can see uh, whether this number is divisible by 48 or not so if you cancel 48 throughout this will become 48 ones are 48 so we have uh, 48 means 19 192 means 4 okay x plus y is 14 now how many pairs of numbers satisfy x plus y equal to 14 now they are co prime right so uh, if you take x as 1 this will become 13 1 plus 13 is 14 2 means 12, 3 means 11, uh, 4 means 10, 5 means 9, 6 means 8, 7 means 7, 8 means, now uh, this will go other way around now, 8, 6, 9, 5, 10, 4 and uh, 11, 3, 12, 2 and 13, 1. Now see, the, out of these pairs, which two are co-prime? 1 and 13, they are co-prime. So 13 and 1, 1 and 13, it's 1 and the same. Uh, 2 and 12 are not co-prime because they have a factor 2 between them. So cancelled, cancelled. 3 and 11, yes, I think they are co-prime. Uh, 11 and 3, same thing. 4 and 10 are not co-prime. Again, a common factor of 2. So cancelled, cancelled. 5 and 9 are co-prime because no common factor. So 9 and 5. Uh, we have already mentioned 5 and 9. Now 6 and 8 common factor of 2. So 8 and 6 gone. 7 and 7 common factor of 7. So only 3 pairs are possible. That means either x is 1, y is 13, x is 3, y is 11 and x is 5, y is 9. In all the cases, the numbers, you know, x and y can attain values which satisfy these two conditions that the sum of the numbers is 672 and LCF is 48. Mind you, the numbers are 48 x and 48 y. So, if you put the values of x and y here, you will obtain the actual numbers.